I'm honestly about two seconds away from giving up. It is not going to plan. As you can tell from that little montage, do I have a roller coaster of a ride for you today? So it all started with me wanting to try new things, which I do quite a bit. And I wanted to try an abstract impasto kind of thing. Um, anyway, I'm just going to get straight into the video because, yeah, it, it's it's a roller coaster. I'm using my craft knife to very carefully take the plastic off, being careful not to go too deep into the plastic. It doesn't matter too much with this one, being that it's a wooden canvas, um, not actual canvas material, but I still like to be careful. I decided I was going to paint straight onto the wood because I'm going to be using impasto paint um, mixed in with primer. So here I'm just mixing up a burnt sienna and doing the first rough sketch. I'm using a couple of reference photos for this one. Um, one I'm using mainly for the face and the other one, I kind of liked the way the mane was going. So I'm combining both of them. I'll try to leave a link in the description down below of those free websites that I use. I've added a little bit of red into that burnt sienna mix um, for the final refining sketch stage, just so I don't confuse the two layers. And now I am mixing in some gesso primer in with the impasto paint and just spreading it out in an well kind of even layer first and then I'll add the texture after. To get the fur texture on the muzzle I'm lightly using a stipple brush to give that hair texture and then to soften it off and make it look like shorter fur, I'm just tapping the bristle very, very gently. Now to layer that impasto gesso mix over the rest of his face. At this stage of the artwork, I was feeling so good. I was happy, I was enjoying the process, I was having so much fun. It doesn't stay like that, unfortunately, but this part of the painting, I was having a lot of fun with this texture paste and just free creating. It was difficult getting into that little nose area there, but this part here, putting on the main texture, oh, it was so much fun. I'm definitely going to use it again. But in hindsight, what I should have done was mixed in the paint into this layer. And I think things would have gone a lot smoother. But in my mind, I wanted to create the texture first and then add the color over the top. It really didn't work out. Um, but, you know, lessons learned. You'll notice here that the mane is quite a bit shorter than what it ends up being. And I did do that on purpose because at this stage, I was planning on adding the color and painting over the top of this texture. And so I was going to use the paintbrush to kind of add wispier bits, but I didn't know what was going to unfold. Still in La La Land, I get the paints ready to start painting the texture adding a bit of water to make it easier. And yeah, it's about now that I have realized what a mistake I have done. But at this stage, I wasn't too stressed. I just thought, okay, I'll add in some shadows. And when I add in that final impasto layer, it's going to look awesome. Boy, was I wrong. It all goes downhill from here when I add this baby poo crossed peanut butter look. 
I try to salvage it by adding in some highlights, which does look a little bit better, but it was about this point that I just wanted to give up. It is not going to plan. I decide to continue on and try to salvage this. At this point, I kind of figure if I can get rid of that baby poo color, maybe I might feel a little bit better. Some more highlights. I add in the nose detail and the mouth detail. And yeah. I'm honestly about two seconds away from giving up. It definitely beats the baby poo colour. That is it. I'm done for today. I'm stepping away and I'm going to look at it tomorrow or the next day. So I did come back the next morning. I mixed in some impasto paste into the colours that I had mixed up, which you saw that I saved those. Um, I didn't want to waste any more paint on this one. <laughs> About now, I didn't know whether it would actually get to YouTube or not, but I decided I'd come this far, I might as well try to finish it off. To be honest, as frustrated as I was at this point, just kind of slapping on the paint was a little bit therapeutic. It definitely got some frustrations out. I finished off the mane with some big wide streaks just to lightly blend it. It was looking a little too streaky. Fingers crossed doing some awesome eyes will save this painting and make it look not too bad. The eyes are normally my favorite part and on this one, it was starting to come together. So I was not hating it as much. If you take one thing away from this video, please let it be that it's okay to try new things and it's okay not to love them. Because sometimes we learn more from doing something wrong than what we do watching people do things right. And stick with it. You might not hate it in the end. And we're done. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. As frustrating as it was, I learned a lot. And it's definitely something that I'm going to try again in the future. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share with your friends. Although maybe not this video, share one of the other ones. Okay, catch ya.